Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Holly and today I am sharing with you another Bisquick recipe. Really quick, really easy to make. Um, very simple. So I'm getting through uh, this box of Bisquick that I have. Uh, finally getting to use it up. Now for this recipe you will need three cups of the original Bisquick mix it calls for. I'm sure you can use the one that's for the healthy heart and everything. One jar of pizza sauce and that is a 14 ounce jar. One medium onion diced up. Two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese or an eight ounce bag. And you will also need two cups of sliced mushrooms. One cup of water and I'm using half of or eight ounces of ground it calls for ground sausage and I like this hot sausage I feel like it always adds a lot of flavor uh, when I put it in uh, certain recipes so it only calls for eight and that was a 16 ounce roll of breakfast sausage so I just cut it in half to get eight ounces and it's a very quick and easy uh, recipe to put together great for a weeknight meal and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put this together and the first thing you will do is cook the ground sausage and you want to cook that until it's completely done and once you have it completely cooked just go ahead and put it on drain it off or put it on a paper towel to drain the fat off of it but you do want to leave about two tablespoons or so of um, any of the grease that's left uh, and it didn't really for this one it didn't really leave a lot of that back so what I did was add about a tablespoon more of olive oil and that kind of helped it uh, a little bit to add a little bit more oil to your pan and now you want to add the onions to that oil and you will just cook that down till they become transparent and soft and once you get that consistency, then you will add the mushrooms and you're going to do the same thing. You want to cook this down in the onions until those mushrooms uh, are cooked and they become more of a softer uh, texture. And once the mushrooms are cooked down with the onions, then you will add back in the ground sausage and you want to just mix it well to incorporate everything. You want to make sure those onions and the mushrooms are mixed throughout the ground um, sausage. And once you have that done, uh, you're just going to turn the stove off and then just put that to the side and we're going to make the mix. So add your bisquick to a mixing bowl, add one cup of water, and then all you're going to do is mix this until it becomes a soft dough. Now once you have the consistency and everything is uh, does, that mix is dissolved with the water, then take a greased 9 by 13 inch oven safe pan and you will drop half of the mixture by spoonfuls and it will not cover the entire bottom of the pan and that's okay. Then you will take half of the jar of pizza sauce and you will just spoon that on top of the dough and save the rest uh, for the next layer then take half of the cheese and you will just spread that on top of each of those um, pieces of dough with the pizza sauce and take half of the meat mixture and that is half of it that's in that bowl and just sprinkle it on top of the cheese and you want to make sure you try to get it evenly uh, coating on there as much as you can. You just want to have every, uh, when you go to eat this, you want to kind of have the mushrooms and the sausage and the onions all in a bite when you go to eat it. But just sprinkle it on top and then you're going to repeat the process that you just did. So the next step will be to add more the rest of the dough and you just spoon it on top and as I said before it doesn't cover the entire thing and that's okay just add the rest of the pizza sauce over the dough and I do spread it out just a little bit and 
Now add the rest of the cheese that you had on the side and spread it evenly over the top of this. And you can add a little bit more if you want. I stayed with the exact amount uh, for the recipe. Uh, I didn't go off the recipe too much. The only thing I didn't do was add, it called for I think a half a teaspoon of salt. And I chose not to add it because I felt like some of this was already salty enough. Uh, but then just add the ground sausage over the top of that. And you just, as the same as you did before, just have it evenly coating. Um, you want to have that in every bite. And you put it in the oven on 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It really was a delicious meal. Um, very good. And we enjoyed it. It wasn't, didn't have a lot of sauce to it. Like the last thing I made, I believe, had. So with the chicken... But this one was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Lots of flavor, especially with that hot sausage. Uh, I hope that you try this and uh, see if you like it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more videos like it, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. That will notify you when I post new videos. I hope everyone has a blessed day, a great week ahead. God bless y'all.